Hello, my lovely Libra, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of June. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance, please do check out your moon readings that are on my channel. And we have a love bonus and an abundance, which is career and finance related bonus. That should be up on the channel as well. Uh, but if you do enjoy this, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any uh new readings going forward. I will be going to Europe next week and hopefully want to get some um, small readings, maybe just a single card here or there since I will be kind of intermittent and spotty with my internet, but we'll have some beautiful views hopefully of the fjords, Scotland, England, that kind of thing that you might at least enjoy. Um, and also then getting moon readings up and what have you that you don't want to miss as well. Uh, without further ado, let's get started here. Do remember that gender is neutral and time is fluid in tarot. So you may still be in the past portion, uh, present portion, or the future portion, uh, depending on where you are currently. That will kind of tell you what your time frame or timeline is kind of looking like. So let's go ahead and see where we are and get started. And of course, to close out, we will certainly be getting at the end clarifiers from our psychic deck. Okay, so let's see what we've got going for you here. All right, we have the uh, Eight of Wands in reverse, and that is just kind of letting me know that I don't feel like it's that you're moving backward, okay? But what I do feel like is that you feel stagnant, right? I feel like for a lot of you, this is making me feel like you are maybe taking one step forward and two steps back. Um, a lot of things, you feel like you're up against it, right? Like you're trying maybe to get somewhere and it's just things are working. If it feels like at least that things are working against you, right? Like, you know, you get an opportunity, you get a chance, something you really are going for and then bam, something happens. Um, either, you know, you don't get what you want or something happens that keeps you, prohibits you from moving forward in a way, you know, something hits you financially, something hits you, you know, like a, an unexpected repair, a medical cost, you know, a vet bill, whatever it may be. But I just feel like in your life, take it as it resonates for you. It's like every time you're taking a step forward, you're like kind of moving back. So it's like a stagnation almost. Um, so I don't feel like this is like, you're like, oh no, I'm moving backwards. Things are just terrible and tragic. I don't see that for you. Um, but we do have the 10 of pentacles in reverse. So I do feel like for many of you that this is telling me that particularly this taking a step back or, um, what you're up against your feeling is in the financial sector. So again, though, that doesn't necessarily mean it's limited to job or investments or things like that, where you're like, okay, man, everything I've invested in is starting to take hits. Um, if it is, that's fine too, because you can ride that out for the most part. And that's what I would suggest. Um, you know, things will fluctuate. So if you're just over monitoring it, try not to do that. Uh, if it's a job situation, you know, keep going at it, keep, keep trying, you know, it will be something that will pay off in the end, but you may have had to take a step back. But for many of you, if this is something where you've kind of taken a step back in a relationship, maybe you thought you were making progress, but you know, something didn't work out, right? that can affect your finances heavily, right? Anytime you have kind of like moved in with a relationship, moved, um, you know, into a place with a relationship where maybe you're sh sharing finances, sharing, um, you know, joint bills, you know, cell phone bills or housing bills or whatever it may be. And you are used to that combined cost of living, uh, you know, two income situation. And then you take a step back. This can really affect your right? Your pinnacles, your funds. So I think that kind of maybe what's happening here, but I really feel like this is a short lived situation. So let's see what we got. Get another one here. Yeah, this is the um, five of swords. So I do feel like, again, there is some strife here. There is some struggle going on. Okay. And I do think this is all kind of related here. Like you've had to take a step back and I do feel like it is a situation either at work, you know, take it as it resonates for you personally at work, where you've had to kind of leave, right? You've had to pick up what swords you've got left and get out because maybe you were in a toxic work environment, a work environment that just wasn't working for you and it has caused you to take a step back. Maybe they um, had to let you go or something for some reason, financial cutbacks or something, and it has affected your finances um, because of the conflictual situation here. Um, and you feel like they turned their back on you, okay? But you are, you know, you're strong, you're still up, you're still standing upright, you're still fighting with your swords here, you're still gonna be fine, right? Um, and those of you that this is a relationship situation, you know, you may feel like people have turned their back on you. You may feel like your person left you for somebody else. You may feel like they've gone away from you or things weren't the greatest, you know, there were some conflict there and that's what caused you to have to take a step back from that relationship. And it did, in fact, again, cause some, um, you know, some financial issues, but I do feel like, again, you remember, you are still standing strong here. You're still standing with your swords. You're still standing upright. You're still willing to 
uh, willing, ready, and able, right, to move forward. You're not broken, you're not, you're gonna make it just fine, right? But again, you've suffered some setbacks, okay? Who hasn't, right? So don't worry about that, but I do feel like I see that for you. So for those of you who are like, yep, sure have, uh, I, <laughs> but what about it, you know? Okay, well, let's find out about it, right, shall we? So let's go into our where are we now situation. This is the present, um, and you may still be in this portion, or you may be here, like I said, time is fleeting tarot, but um, here we have the uh, Four of Swords in reverse. So this is normally a restful card, but for you, I feel like you're ready to go. You're a go-getter, right? This is just, you're not that kind of person who's just gonna take defeat lightly and just sit on it, right? Um, you're ready to take those swords and kind of, you know, you want your, you want your level justice playing field back, right? You want back in charge, back in control, things to be on a nice, good, playing field. So you're taking your swords and you're going, you're, you're going at it hard and heavy a little bit, right? That's just who you are. You're not somebody to lay around and mope and whine and feel like this is, oh, this has happened to me. No, that's not you. So you're going at it. Okay. But we have the devil energy in reverse. And so I feel like, again, this is something where somebody did some things to you here. And I do feel like this is the devil energy. And I feel like they may come back around even. Uh, they may try to suck you back in, right? The devil energy is, if you look at it, it's two, they're connected together, right? They're, they try to stick themselves to you, attach themselves to you to kind of drag you down to their level, whatever. So whether this is a work situation or a relationship situation, I do feel like this person or people, perhaps if it's a work situation, they may try to kind of breadcrumb you, nickel dime you, you know, offer you some things. They may try to take all kinds of different tacks to get you to come back. Uh, those kinds of things, but you're not hearing it, right? With this in reverse, you've cut that off. You're done with that. You're moving forward, right? You're ready to blaze through here. You're strong. You've looked back. You've seen you don't want that. You're moving on. Uh, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I'm not doing that, right? You're done with it. You've already taken a setback because of them, and you're not going there again, right? So uh, good for you. Um, the chariot in reverse. And that just kind of lets me know that you are, you know, you're just taking it on a day by day basis though. I do feel like you are, you're ready to go forward. You're ready to be strong, tough, united, but you're being very cautious about it too though. Okay. So, you know, this devil energy may be lurking, right? Cause I do feel like they are going to come back. I do feel like they are going to come around. They are going to pull some of their old shenanigans. I'm sorry. You know, Oh, I'll, I can give you this. I can give you that. Oh, I see you're struggling a little financially. You know, if you come back to me, we can make this better for you. You won't have to struggle, you know, la 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 all that but you're not hearing it right so i do feel like with that here you're moving you're moving forward but you're moving forward in a slow methodical way so you're kind of almost in a pause moment right a reflective pause moment before you um really decide to amp up okay you've got that authority of gung-ho right you're ready to go you've got that you're not going to just lay around and take it whine cry mope that's not who you are but before, so you're mentally there, but before you make any physical moves, right? Before you take any physical actions to jump in into a new job, jump into a new relationship, whatever it may be, you're going to really kind of halt, put the halt on, break some things and think things through. You don't want this. And, and it's directly because of this person being around. You don't want this person around. You wanna make sure that they are safely out of the picture so they're not gonna cause you any more headaches but also you don't want a repeat of this person, right? So let's get another one here. Yeah, Page of Wands. So I feel like a Page of Wands is gonna come into you. This is an opportunity, fiery hot opportunity with that Page of Wands. Could be something romantic if this is a relationship situation that you're going through. This could be something if this is a job situation you're going through where it's a job opportunity. And for some of you, this could very well be both. This might be somebody who comes into you in one capacity, like as a job opportunity. Hey, we've got a job. You know, this is somebody who's like, hey, you know, I heard you were looking for a job. I know something. I know somebody. I've got some connections. And then they're interested in you, right? Because they're fiery hot. You're interested in that. that. They've got that wands energy, right? Or vice versa. This might be somebody that you meet uh, in a romantic capacity, you know, maybe in a dating sense. And then they're like, hey, you know, I happen to know something about somebody in your line of work or, you know, people who are looking for somebody who does what you do and knows how to um, you know, could put you to work in a very nice, much more stable type of environment than you were used to. So I do think this is going to be a pivotal person for you. Okay. So keep your eyes out for this person. Um, but I do think here with this chariot where you are kind of in a paused moment, 
I do think that is an actual really good thing for you because it shows that you are being very methodical and taking your time. You're not jumping into anything. And I think that's very good. Um, but then again, you know, you are a balanced person. That's something that you're known for. You know, you're not known to be, um, you know, quick leaper of into things anyway. So that's, that's, but this is, you know, very good for you. So uh, here we have the sun in reverse and I do not feel like this is something bad. You're not in shadows, you're not in darkness. But what I do feel like with this sun in reverse is that you do not want to be in the limelight. And I do feel like you're doing that again as part of like this chariot uh, kind of halted, um, but it's an extension of that, okay? Because what I feel here is that you know that the more that you draw attention to your successes, if this is a, a, a financial job type opportunity, career opportunity, uh, the more that this devil energy is gonna show up to kind of put the kibosh on that, right? Um, same thing if it's a relationship you know, the more that you are being in the center of attention, the sun shining on you, your, uh, your, your newfound success, your new love, your new anything, the more they see this, this devil energy, the more they're going to come around, the more problems they're going to cause, right? Because misery loves company. If they are the kind of person who has tried to, you know, take you down before, then by proving them wrong and succeeding, that's just gonna make them more fueled to prove that they are right, right? No way, you're not gonna succeed. You're not gonna succeed to spite me, right? So we don't, and you don't want that, right? You kind of want to lay low, get your ducks in, an, in a row, you know, get your feet solid ground under you, whether it's relationship, whether it's job, whether it's both, before you do anything else. Um, and this here, this seven of wands is, is kind of like, I feel like you are kind of in a solid place, right? So normally with the seven of wands, it's kind of like you're working away, but you know something needs to, you're shifting, right? You're shifting gear, shifting directions. I feel like here you've already got a direction, right? I think this page of wands is bringing you a direction um, and you want to kind of protect that direction. That's why you're staying out of the sun, right? You want to protect this direction that you're already decided to be in, right? You know what you're doing, you know what you want to do or who you want to be with, what have you by this point. Um, and again, this could be late in June, this could be even early in July, you know, throughout, uh, depending on where you are in the cycle, time's fluid again, but I do feel like you know what direction you're wanting to take, right? Um, but you want to keep this kind of private, close to the best, right? Um, so we have the Nine of Swords. And this is letting me know you're having some, some stress, some anxiety, and you know, a lot of that I do feel like may be because and this is just a feeling I'm getting, honestly. I feel like a lot of that is you're getting pressure from your significant other, which I do feel like this page of wands has some, is some factor there. This is somebody that's going to be interested in you, seeing you, and they are going to want to be more uh, out and about, more on the up and up, more um, in the sun, if you will, in the light, if you will. And that's very stressful for you because you're trying to make them understand that you know your direction, you know what you're doing, you want to kind of keep things under wraps, keep things on a balanced, even keel under the under the radar, and it's stressing you out because you don't want to upset them. You know, you want to keep them happy and not feeling like you're hiding them, right? Um, but at the same time, you know what this person's like, and you don't want to set that off either because that could really cause some really big issues. So you're, I feel like you're having stress about this. Uh, let's get another one here. Strength. Okay. So I feel like you're just going to stick to your guns. Honestly, I feel like you're going to show ultimate strength and stick to your guns. Um, and for some of you, for some of you, your guns are going to be, you know what, um, this person's feelings are more important to me and I'm going to show my strength and my guns say, stand up to this. And I don't give a crap. You know what? We can weather any storm that this person brings to us, right? This devil energy. And that may be what your relationship is like, that dynamic, okay? But again, this is how it resonates based on your relationship. Now, if you've got a person who just really doesn't understand devil energy and they're just thinking you're hiding them for, you know, because you're embarrassed or something of that nature and you're trying to make them understand, no, you don't understand what this would be like. You would, you would hate it. You would hate the fact that they would cause drama. You are a, a non-drama person, it would really drive you nuts and you couldn't handle it and then it would break us apart. And if you know that, you would stand strong and say, listen, not now, you know, 
and and you know that they would be better off with you doing the not now i'm standing firm on that because you know that they couldn't handle the the stress that this would bring they couldn't handle the the trauma of the you know this pot stirring that the devil does devil energy does your ex the um all the you know the lies that they might come up with the fake news the you know the trying to cause drama who knows they may even be stalking you you, you just never know but you know them better than this person does right but you also know this person and how they might react so i do feel like you're going to stand strong on whatever stance you take and you're going to stick with it you're not going to bend you know to anything unless you feel like it's right okay let's get a last card here eight of cups so i do feel like what's going to happen here is that there's going to be a movement away okay and it may be because um whatever decision you stand strong on it may require that you decide to move away you and your person may decide okay this person we've decided to i've decided to stand strong with this one because they ultimatum to me and i don't want to lose them um, and we have to get away from this energy. They're not going to give up. This devil person is going to keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on until they drive us all insane, ruin our relationship. And it's too much for this person to handle. Maybe you can handle it because you're like, you know, I'm used to this kind of nonsense that this person isn't, you know, or maybe it's you. Maybe you're like, I, I'm used to it, but I don't want to be. I don't want this to be commonplace. And I surely don't want to carry this forward into my new relationship. I'd rather just go get away from this person completely so I do see you having a getting away okay um, I don't feel like you're getting away from this person I feel like you're getting away from your current situation so I you know I feel as though you know you and this person will stand strong together and kind of go you know you may have to move somewhere and this could be someone who's you know uh, they may not live very close to you too and you may go to be with them um, but again, I do feel like I see you kind of moving away from some of the things you know, and it's taking the strength for you to do that. And that's your decision. I think you're stressed about it. Um, and for those of you that this is a job situation potentially involved as well, you may move away for a job. This may be very important for you to move away for a job and this person may go with you. That may be something you stand strong on. And part of your stress here may have been, do I let them know that I'm really wanting to take this job? That's the direction I know I want to take because I'm scared of losing them. But when you stand firm and you stand strong, they go with you. Um, because I do, I don't see anything. I'm not getting a negative vibe off this moving away. Okay. I just don't, I do not get a negative vibe off this. Like we'll get a psychic card on all of these, but I just don't get a negative vibe that's saying like, this is a sad, you know, tragic leaving where, you know, you put the smack down and said, Hey, I'm going somewhere you know, either you come or we're done situation. Um, if this is a love and you've had to leave them and leave them behind, I don't have that feeling. I feel like this is more like, I don't know. Let's see what the psychic deck says though. This might bring some clarity a little bit more to that, but I'm not getting a feeling of, of that kind of thing. I, you know, I feel like you're more a person who is, you know, you like to do things on a quiet, reserved way. Um, and by being that way, you're stronger and you know what's best. And I do think that this person will respect that. Um, but let's see. And if that's what you decide, though, to leave whomever or whatever behind, I do think that you are strong in that resolve. So whatever it is, I feel like you know that it's what's best for you. Um, but let's see how it comes out here. Perfect. All right. So authority is your first card. And we know this. We know that this is you having to take steps right here with this five of swords. You're taking steps to pick up your sword and leave behind the drama, right? Leave behind the nonsense. There's been conflict. It's too much. You're going to take what you've got left and you're going to haul, you know, haul yourself out of that mess, right? And I believe that's you flexing your authority for sure. Okay. Passion ignited. And I absolutely believe that that's this page of wands. Like I said before, I think that they might come to you in a capacity that is also indicative of, you know, maybe helping you find your way in certain things, avenues, you know, maybe opportunities. But I certainly feel like there was more to this. This is definitely something about, um, you know, being a, a romantic feeling here for certain. Um, and I don't feel anything negative here, like I said. I mean, you're stressed, but I think it's more stress of, 
you know, this person, how will they handle it? How should you deal with it? If you're leaving for a job, will they will they be able to handle taking that with them? You know, I, I feel like it's more of a stress of, you know, how to handle them than it really is a stress for yourself. Like, oh, am I gonna, you know, how do I live my life? You know, it's more just a stress for them because you do actually really care about this person. And I think they care about you. Uh, again, because I do feel like, like I said, I don't feel anything negative even by this leaving. And again, foundation and achievements. And again, I feel like that's exactly what you're working towards. Um, and that's why I said, even if this leaving for some of you is you sticking to your guns and saying, listen, if you don't come, I'm going anyway, then that's what you feel is best. And that's not to say they won't come later. They won't realize how much they miss you and come later. Um, and that's not to say that maybe you decide that if they didn't want to come, then fine. Then then you didn't, that wasn't meant to be anyway. And you're happy with that too. Um, because you know what you're doing is your strength is telling you that that's the best for you to get to your strong foundation. Okay. You're doing what's right. But for most of you, I truly felt like this is not a sad leaving. This is just you leaving behind where you were. Uh, because this isn't just you leaving one cup, right? It's not a splitting of two things or a singular singular decision. This is you leaving a, a, a group behind. So I feel like you're leaving to go to another job or you're leaving to go somewhere with this person. Um, and I do believe that you are with this person in this situation, honestly, and they are helping you achieve your foundation, right? So you're building something with this person. You know, you, this person, you're building a life. You're moving to build this life because your passion was ignited and I think theirs too. So I think you're moving in a direction that's very positive for you. Um, I think your stress here was solely just like, how are they going to be able to handle my decision if I decide to move for a job or move away from this devil energy or whatever you decided to do. And I think they were right on board with you, honestly. I really do believe that. Um, and the psychic deck is kind of confirming what I thought about that. So you have two fours as well. So if a four means anything to you, um, there's a one here, but if a four means anything to you, then I do feel like maybe you want to keep that in mind. The fourth month, or I mean the fourth day of, of a month perhaps might be something um, there. So anyway, I uh, hope this resonated with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. Otherwise, I definitely believe that you are breaking free from some devil energy. You are going to have some fiery hot energy coming in here love-wise. And regardless of whether it resonates with you for job or whether it resonates with you for relationship or both, I do see that you are moving on to bigger, better, and much happier things that are going to really lead to stronger foundations and achievements for you. So uh, everything is looking really, really good for you going into the, you know, midsummer. Um, so have a great one. Bye.